Hi, we're here again at Discount Water Softeners with a quick tutorial video on how to program your new uh, Genesis Upflow or Premier model water softeners. Um, we've gone ahead and already plugged this unit in. And uh, one of the things to note early with the softeners is when you receive it, you will have, sometimes there will be maybe two or one or five regenerations already performed on your system. And there may even be some gallons registered. So at the factory, these systems are run through initial diagnostics for quality control. And you might register two or three, maybe five, could be as many as 10 regenerations because these are uh, water tested as well as air tested. So um, you will notice that there's some gallons on there, very little, um, and, and a few regenerations. This is a brand new unit. Um, it's never been installed, but that's how many regenerations it's showing and uh, how many gallons there are. So just be aware of that. You might also have some water that's present around the openings. Um, that is not a used unit. It is actually a unit that's been fully tested. So that being said, we'll move on to here to, to setting your system and you wanna push and hold the settings button in to get to the time of day. To change any of your highlighted uh, uh, sections here, uh, your hours, you're just gonna up or down. If you're gonna do your minutes, you go back here to settings, up or down. Same thing with AM and PM. To get to the next um, uh, program setting, you're gonna hit the settings button again. That's gonna get you to your year, to your month, to your day. And to, now to your hardness. Now with hardness, a real key factor with hardness is if you're on a private well and you have iron in your water, you definitely want to test that iron and find out exactly how much you have. Uh, so for example, if you have 20 grains of hardness on your private well and you have one part per million of iron, you want to account for that iron because your water softener is going to remove that. And on waters that have up to even two or two and a half, maybe three parts per million, that can use up a good portion of your capacity. So for every part per million of iron that you have present in your water, you're going to add five grains of hardness to your hardness setting. That will give you a compensated hardness reading. A compensated hardness is, means that you're compensating for the iron that's in your water so that your system regenerates on time. So let's, for example, say you had 20 grains of hardness and one part per million of iron. You're going to change that number to 25. So that's an extra five grains. Let's say you had one and a half on iron. You would go up to 27 and a half. There's actually not a half, so you go to 28. So that being said, um, that system will then uh, regenerate and calculate out the number of gallons you need to regenerate the system properly. Going on to the next setting is the number of people. Um, if you have four people in your home, set it for four. If you have it for two, uh, a home with two, set it for two. Um, if you have a home where, you know, kids go off to college or, you know, people come and stay for two, three, four, five months at a time, you can change that from time to time if you really want. I would just uh, err on the side of caution and go with the higher number. If it's a significant number of people, you may want to go ahead and change that when they come, and then when they leave, you can you can change it. If people are coming to stay for the weekend or a week, that's not a big deal. No need to change it. Just if it's extended period of time for months at a time, that's where you want to make some changes. Um, uh, salt setting. This is really key if you're on a private well to be set on the iron and manganese setting. Um, that will ensure that the proper amount of brine is brought in to saturate that resin bed and, and knock that iron and manganese off and, and make sure it goes down the drain. If you're not set on this, what's going to happen is, is you're going to actually get uh, iron fouling of your resin and over time you're going to lose capacity. So that's on any private well or untreated well water that is not a municipal supply. Standard salt setting is what we ship all of the water softeners out to our customers set at. That is what the manufacturer highly recommends you use on your system if you're on a municipal supply. It's going to use six pounds of salt per, per uh, cubic foot, and it's the most efficient setting when you consider the amount of salt used and the number of regenerations that are going to be performed annually. Um, that being said, there is a high efficiency salt setting in here. Now that is for very rare instances where your water is 
less than 10 or 12 grains per gallon and there is zero iron present, you can use that setting. Be aware that that setting is going to cause the softener to regenerate far more often annually and there'll be more wear and tear. We actually don't recommend it and all of the information put forth on our website is based on the standard salt setting of six pounds. So we do recommend you leave it there and that will uh, save you far more on salt than any other unit out there and it will uh, uh, perform uh, very well for many years that way. The next uh, setting is your municipal or well. So if you have municipal, you wanna set it to that, it'll actually uh, uh, regenerate based on and backwash based on a municipal supply. So it'll actually save you some, some water on a municipal. On a private well, it won't, but you won't definitely wanna put it on that anyway so that it backwashes when it should. Regeneration times fully adjustable. Obviously this comes 2 a.m. Uh, from the factory because that's the least likely time someone's gonna be using water. And um, you could leave it at that if that's a bad time for you because you have second or third shifts that uh, people that are using water at odd times, then um, then you can change it uh, accordingly. Be aware that it won't always occur on the same day, so it could happen on a weekend or a weekday depending on when you use up your gallons. But that would be um, that would be something that you want to um, make sure that you uh, you set for when you're least likely using water. All right. And that's it. That's the programming is complete. Um, one last thing I want to go over is in your installation instructions, the system talks, the uh, instructions call, talk about the system regeneration when you first turn on your system and fire it up. The real important thing about when you first start it up is your resin is not pre-charged. Your resin comes not charged with sodium. You have to initially regenerate the system. So in your instructions, in your quick startup sheet, and in the manual, it talks about manually adding at least five gallons of water to the salt tank, allowing it to sit for at least four to six hours before you perform your first manual regeneration by pushing and holding the manual regeneration button for about three or four seconds. Now, what I usually recommend is you do a second regeneration. A second regeneration needs to be done no more than six hours, no sooner than six hours after the first regeneration is complete. So the easiest way to do this is to actually set it to do a delayed regeneration. A delayed regeneration, if you just push the manual regeneration once and don't hold it in, it'll actually set it up to go off at the next scheduled time, which in this case is 2 a.m. What that'll allow you to do is you'll regenerate when you first um, install the system after six hours. You can do that or um, you can hit that manual regeneration button once to turn the delayed regeneration on. And in this case, it'll go off at 2 a.m. That will actually allow your system to regenerate a second time and it'll use a complete brine and then refill um, after that uh, regeneration is complete. So that will make sure that you get soft water and, um, and your system will be operating as designed. So if there's any additional uh, questions or help that you need, you can email us at support at discountwatersofteners.com or you can always give us a call and someone will be happy to assist. Thanks again for watching and um, have a great day.